I mean, formerly called bot marketing, I guess, in the marketing world. And basically the idea is that as you've seen through someone messaging you on, on Instagram, um, you know, getting a one-to-one -one email via SMS. I mean, of course, the messaging on WhatsApp, Facebook, even WeChat uh, from out of China, which is a lot of, of course, in North America now, um, you can kind of go one-to-one -one and, and you can actually answer people's questions. Um, one thing that even Facebook has now opened up is that they know users, users want to ask you questions. And if you're a massive brand, you can't really answer all the questions right away, or even if you're really busy as an owner. Um, so there's actually bots that you can create a decision tree where it's basically, you know, they ask you a question and, and the bot sort of says, hey, are you asking about our menu, opening hours, reservations? You can kind of bring them down a funnel without lifting a finger and hopefully having them make it a buying decision without having to talk to you. Uh, of course, if it's something that's a bit more personal, you've got to design your bot to eventually send them your way and you've got to have someone ready to answer a question, right? So social messaging is something consumers are definitely used to doing with their friends and now it's with brands. So let's not mess this up, right? This is the golden opportunity to actually add value and really give them great customer service and not have to be, you know, waiting by the phone or, you know, doing things that really, I mean, people are going to bounce if they don't get immediate gratification. So one-to-one -one is huge. You have it leveraged now on Facebook. And as I mentioned on Instagram, that's something that for sure um, you need to kind of look at and see what's feasible within your team. Uh, just an example, uh, Trevor Bird, a fantastic owner and chef, does a lot of catering. Um, he also has another business where he delivers sustainable meat um, uh, from specific uh, farmers to yeah, to households. And I mean, they're e-commerce, right? So they, they get a lot of online sales. They really need to have a lot of customer support because people are only buying on their website. And, um, you know, he says here that every time someone engages with them, they have a bot that interacts, uh, they go down a funnel and, you know, of course he has a lot of fun with it. And really it, it, it's something that drives a ton of sales as they're busy creating the craft of, of the food or hiring staff or things that really require human beings. So more and more we're blurring the lines between um, artificial intelligence and humans. And I think they can really work well uh, in this very balanced way, as long as you're realistic around what a bot can do and what you can do. And again, consumers want to be interacted one-on-one. -on -one, so there's such a golden opportunity to save so much time and really have people buying from you quickly and in an informed way. Now, something that's also uh, coming sooner than you think, I mean, who did not get an Alexa dot for the holidays? Uh, there's Google, there's Alexa, there's Siri, and, you know, a third, um, you know, a, a third or 33% uh, of, of, of searches are going to start to come from Google searches, right? So, you know, uh, one third of 3.5 billion Google searches are now voice searches. That is insane. Um, so this can of course relate to the bot. People can start to ask things online and get directed to a bot. Um, so you've got bots being used a lot for customer service. Uh, and when you look at actually optimizing your website or your social media for voice marketing, you got to look at having keywords, right? Words that, uh, you know, people will find you on Google for not so much words like, you know, uh, restaurant, uh, Toronto, best of 2019 it's got to be like what is a good restaurant in toronto this year so you've got to make your keywords conversational i won't dive in too much into seo uh search and optimization but um these are all things to consider as you look at your whole funnel and how that interacts with the behavior of people not just messaging but also talking to their phone and looking for things yeah that and, and a key thing that they